Well, hello, hello. Welcome back to The Traveling Man. Today, I'm in Lima, Ohio, and we're going to check out the Western Sizzlin' Restaurant for today's episode. Um, this is kind of a, I don't really want to say historic, but it's a notable place that there's not a lot of them around anymore. At least in Ohio, there's not a lot of them. I think this is the only one. Most of them are all in the South. So if you want to check out the Western Sizzlin', I believe it's like a um, Ponderosa, kind of similar to that. So if you want to check it out, just follow me. This sign would be amazing to see at night because it's completely neon. And maybe I'll have to come back one day and get a, pic, um, a video of it and, uh, you know, insert it in here. So watch through the video to find out whether I did come back at night. Oh, I think it lights up all around the edge too of the whole entire building, it does. This looks amazing. That looks awesome. Yes, this works much better. There you go. <laughs> or it tells the... Okay, so they gave me regular looking butter with these dinner rolls. And then I was like, what is this? Well, hang on a sec. Here it is. This is the butter that I got. Mmm, cinnamon. Hi, <laughs> I gotta do it in this angle. Let's try this. Oops, I'm spit all over the camera. <laughs> this is the weirdest angle ever to review dinner rolls from, but you know, we're gonna try it. <laughs> Cause I feel like being a retard today. <laughs> Here it is, if I can get it on the camera. Wait, <laughs> I can't do this, I can't do this. Well, my thought on that angle was that it gets rid of all of the stupid reflections and crap from all the lights in the windows, but then it's just too, it's too much. So let's try the cinnamon butter rolls. Ooh. Those are fantastic. Definitely try the cinnamon butter here at the Western Sizzlin'. You gotta tell me what you get. Got a five ounce sirloin, french fries, and toast. There it is. And then you gotta tell me how what it's how, if you like it. It's the steak. <laughs> Let's see. It should cut really easily if it's good. Yeah, it does. You got it medium, right? Yeah. The inside looks nice. Again. <laughs> yeah, as I was gonna say, that's a pretty big piece. <laughs> Wait, try the other one that's detached. <laughs> yeah. Wait, there's the pink inside. So that's what they think medium is, I guess. If that's what you got it at. <laughs> I, got, I got it, I got it. Nope. <laughs> we are failing here. It's good. Is it as good as York or is it just the same or better or worse or same okay yeah cool it's not bad it's pretty good okay i'm gonna try the mac and cheese country fried steak and toast thank you sorry i was saying thank you to the waitress so that probably came out real weird on the video <laughs> time to eat same as the song. Oh, 
Oh, there's a look at the country fried steak. It cut really easy. I put all the white gravy on it. So let's try it out. Okay, well, we're gonna just have to deal with this window glare crap. BS, wait, maybe that'll fix it. No, 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 no. I'm trying to see if I can, nope, can't get rid of it. Okay, let's just try the, the country fried steak. Hmm. You know, honestly, I don't know whether I like that or not. It's definitely cooked really well. It's not chewy or anything or gristly. It's real easy to chew up. The flavor is just different from what I'm used to on country fried steak. I would, yeah, it is. Mm -hmm. I would definitely get this country fried steak again. I think it's just something I'm not used to, um, not used to country fried steak tasting like this. So if you're you know, ever gonna come to the, uh, the Western Sizzlin, try out the country fried steak because it's kind of different and unique. Okay, so we're redoing this country fried steak because here, I'm gonna do it this way to get rid of that window glare. We're refilming the country fried steak because the uh, video was accidentally on slow-mo. So it's like, so let's try the country fried steak again where I can actually tell you how I like it. <laughs> it cuts really easy. It's very nice and tender. It's not chewy or gristly. It has a really unique flavor though. It's not like any other country fried steak I've ever had. My initial thoughts are, I'm not sh quite sure whether I like it or not because it's just different. And I would probably order this again. And I would definitely recommend if you come to the Western Sizzle and try it out for yourself because it's unique. And I don't think you're gonna find country fried steak anywhere else that tastes like this. It is good, it's just I'm not used to it tasting like that. Okay, on to the next thing. All right, checking out the mac and cheese. We're gonna test it and see if it's candle waxy or not. I hope not, because that's always a disappointment when you get your awesome mac and cheese and they're like, it tastes like candle wax. Ooh, have you ever had Stouffer's macaroni and cheese? I like that stuff, it's unique. It's got a different flavor than most mac and cheese, and it's good. Well, this tastes very similar to Stouffer's mac and cheese, so if you like Stouffer's mac and cheese, definitely try this stuff out, and it wouldn't be surprised if that's what they're serving, because some places do serve like Kraft macaroni and cheese, so why not serve Stouffer's macaroni and cheese? It's good. And I know a lot of people would be like, ugh, I didn't come to a restaurant to get frozen food from the grocery store, but you know, hey, it's better than some of that stuff they serve at the dribble they serve at other places that tastes like candle wax. So <laughs> would you rather have candle wax mac and cheese or would you rather have the Stouffer's version? I'll pick the Stouffer's version. Okay. Yeah. That's going to do it for our look at the Western Sizzle in here in Lima, Ohio. If you like this kind of content, then give the video a thumbs up and I'll continue to create more. Well, that's going to do it for now. Thanks for watching as always, and I'll see you in the next episode of The Traveling Man.